Hello, just doing a quick video here on uh, my Fender Squire Telecaster thin line. I just had it on the, I took it with me on vacation. So when I did that, I took the neck off to get in the suitcase and stuff. And it worked out great because very light guitar, so easy to pack. And uh, I was wrapped in some t shirts and stuff in my suitcase and way I go. But I want to change the strings on it and do a few other things. Uh, one thing is uh, the knobs are a bit too stiff. I'm just going to lubricate them a little bit, the pots. And just going to check it over and see what's going on here while I have it apart. And put new strings on it and stuff like that. So I'm going to check it out. It had uh, the original strings on them where it had the telltale colored ball ends on them of uh, what seemed to be Daddario's uh, XLs, what I don't really like because I don't find that they bend as well as uh, Ernie Ball Slinky. So I'm going to put a different set on. But I am going to put a set of uh, new Daddario's. Give them, a, give them a chance. Try them out. See if I like them or not. Uh, just uh, nines. Okay, so let's check out the wiring and what's all under the cover here. Uh, appears to be okay by someone. Now uh, there's the neck pickup. Pretty simple. Uh, nice and small. Uh, says something on it. I can't quite read it. Let's see if I'll focus in here. Uh, TCA 1N Fender NK. And then just kind of. Uh, what I assumed it would have, just single wires, nothing insulated. So that's too bad, but whatever, I kind of what I expected. Has alpha pots. I can get some light on here that will show up. The alpha name. There's alpha. There's another one. Alpha for volume and tone. And then a cheap switch, which is too bad. So I, I could replace that too, I suppose, but I don't know, it's working fine, so I'll just leave it for now. I like to do the wires and the switches and stuff. Uh, just uh, unsolder them off the pickup and run a shielded wire all the way through for both pickups, but I think I'll leave it for now. It's got a bit of noise, but when you do select both pickups, it does cancel out pretty good, so not too bad. The control cavity is pretty large so that, that also explains why it's so light. Um, of course this cavity is hollow for the most part. Let's see, get my finger in a little ways. But this section here I suppose is all hollow and then this section here is all hollow for your controls. So explains why it's quite a light guitar which is great. Uh, definitely a plus. Great shape and full size but not does have the weight and it has good shielding there the pick covers pick our covers all shielded the whole way which is good let's get a light on here and see what's inside this doesn't work good yeah anyway all solid wood there we go drill through the body yeah, it's pretty well done. Everywhere I look. Wood light shielded wires, but oh well. Oh, that one is. Well, that's good to see. The wire from the jack is shielded. Hang on, this one too. Oh yeah, these are two. Okay, good. So, I guess I don't have to rewire it right away because it already is shielded there. Uh, not so sure about there. Oh, that's the ground. Okay, yeah, so no. Uh, so, yeah, at least some of that shield. It, it, it works fine, and anyway, I won't get all fussy about that. Okay, so I'll just do my thing and then get it back together, I suppose. Neck pocket looks okay, too. A bit of a, some extra routing and uh, not totally flat in the pocket here, but it's fine and it looks good. Uh, made in China guitar, and uh, if you stamped any other country on the neck, I'd believe it. You know, it doesn't really scream that's made by uh, someone that can't make a guitar. It's 
fairly well done. Okay, so I'll get that all done, and then uh, I don't think I can do the neck. The fret, the original frets, are all very smooth, very smooth ends. They're all fine. The neck's really good. I like the tuners. Nothing much to do here. There's a date on it. In the very end, but very solid, very good. Neck. Uh, oh, I think this one might need a bit of a truss rod adjustment too. Eh? But you know, a couple thou, not very much. Okay, so let's do that. Uh, I might show it in fast motion so it doesn't take all the ante. So smooth. You should do it from the front, uh, just down the shaft, but since the pick guard's off, I can... Yeah, that's freeing up a bit. Let's do it through the back. Just any simple lubricant will work, as long as it doesn't contain, like, copper or without, without flakes or anything. Yeah, I'll use two hands now, so I'll put the camera down.
Here we go, we've got the new Dandario NYXL strings on, 942. Um, I think this guitar is good to go. The knobs are a lot freer now, easier to turn. Not that there's anything wrong with them, I just prefer them to be a bit easier. The wiring, I like to put shielded wiring in. It might cut down the noise a little bit. It's on high gain right now. And then with uh, both pickups on, they do cancel, so. And then the neck will buzz a little bit. Neck a bit more. I guess it's a bit hotter, I suppose. But it should be good, like, uh... Definitely a good travel guitar, since you can just take the neck off and uh, pack in a suitcase. And it's very kind of, uh strong for its weight and stuff like that and very simple and fun to play so i'll just enjoy the guitar more that's about it it's not much to do with this thing it's right out of the box it's pretty good just a couple of small things that were more my preference like the strings and the uh knobs or the resistance to turning for the controls is about it okay polish it up and that'll be that